So is the fight over now? We, we think it might be, but that happened many, many times throughout the day. You think you can rest and it's over, and then they pop up and attack again. So the ANA is sitting down inside the little sort of courtyard next to the uh, compound here and getting stunned. The first thing they do in the break in the fighting is the ANA go get stoned. Yeah. Are they getting stoned on opium or are they getting stoned on hash or pot or? They smoke a lot of hash. We don't know if it was hash or opium, but it was it was one or the other. That guy looks pinned. That's <laughs> opium for sure. I don't understand how they can smoke it in the middle of a battle. It'd make you worse, but they love it. As soon as they get two minutes, they'll start smoking it and passing it around. All laughing and joking. And then a minute later, they're running up towards bullets. <laughs> he, he was so stoned that he went outside, stood up in full view of the Taliban, aimed just into the sky, a bullet fired the magazine off his gun and he just picked up off the ground, laughed and walked back inside. Yeah. You're fucking mad! Why? Tajiman, we haven't got enough ammunition to fire bursts like that. Short bursts. Short bursts. Same question from the captain, are they firing at anything? No. That happened all the time. You'd hear this massive burst of gunfire. You'd hear one of the Brits go, are they shooting at anything? And you'd hear someone shout back, no. <laughs> we saw that time and time again. You can't clearly identify the enemy. You shouldn't be firing, really. But <laughs> trying to tell the ANA, ANA that is a different matter. <laughs> is, that, is that all the ammo we've got left? Yeah, that's all we've got left. We've got about 150 rounds left. Well, I think we've got to get up there about another K for our resupply route. So you're running low on ammunition now? Yeah, he's got 150 rounds left. Uh, we need to start bringing in resupplies of water, food and ammun especially ammunition. Because yeah, we're running low, yeah. Well, the boys are low on water now, but we didn't lose on the weapons. We're going to carry three litres per man. It ain't going to last long. We've been on the go since half three this morning. It's now 11 o'clock, so you know, three litres isn't a lot, especially when you're sweating as much as this. How hot is it right now here? Over 50 degrees. It's over 50 degrees, which is like, I don't know, 120 degrees or 115 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're, but you're wearing flak jackets and, and, and helmets, so your balls are sweating pretty bad right now. Dripping. Dripping. <laughs> and you don't have any water. No, the water runs out. Because, you know, how much, how much water can you carry on top of all that kit? You know, a few so meters. you're fucked. Yeah, all of us. A uh, 6 3 Alpha ICOM chatter suggests Taliban are uh, pulling back in front of our advance, uh, trying to conserve their own ammunition, uh, cause us to expend all of ours, and then plan to uh, counterattack us as we withdraw. Over. So, what the Taliban are doing now is they'll shoot a couple shots, get the ANA guys to go crazy, stone, shoot all their guns off, and then when you have to retreat to get more bullets, they're going to kill you. Yeah. You know, that could be the Taliban's tactic for the entire country. You know, they know it doesn't cost much for them to stay there and stay fighting. They know it costs Britain and America and everybody else a lot to be there. So, so they think they can outpace us. No problem at all. They'll say, we'll fight for 10 years, like me and you would say, let's go for a drink, let's go for a game of tennis. You know, it's, it's nothing. <laughs>